Uh, you know, obviously you're going to play here in Louisville for the first time. Tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, what you're thinking about uh, uh, the game and playing in front of the fans and that sort of thing. Uh, I think it's going to be fun, you know, I think we're going to have a fun, uh, good time. And hopefully we win. You know, Louisville obviously needs a guy at your position to come in and protect the rim and grab rebounds. Talk to me a little bit about your game and, and what, you, what you're what you going to bring to the team next season. Uh, I think I'm going to bring a very versatile play, you know. I can block shots, I can rebound, I can shoot, I can pass. I just want to uh, bring my talent to the team and get better. What do you want to show the fans tomorrow night and, and Friday night here? Uh, just that uh, I'm a good player, I'm a, uh, I'm a team player, you know. I want to win and uh, uh, I can have fun. Is it kind of cool? I mean, the fans have not seen you at all around here. Is it kind of nervous a little bit the first time? Uh, not really, you know. I just take it as another basketball game. You know, it's just an all-star game. Just go out, have fun, and do me. Shinani, what has uh, Louisville's coaching staff talked to you about they want you to work on before you arrive at Louisville this summer? Uh, they want me to get stronger so I can be able to, uh, you know, box out people that's bigger than me and stronger than me. Do you have a certain set goal in that area? As far as uh, not really, I just want to get stronger, build my upper body. What, what are you doing right now to, to do that? I'm just lifting, you know. I'm trying to uh, start lifting three times a week now. How excited are you to get on to college? I'm assuming it's about, what, a month and a half away before you come back here. I'm really excited, you know. I can't wait. I've been, I've been thinking about this since I committed, you know. I've been wanting to come down here and everything. I just can't wait to play. Where? Where were you and what did you think when you heard Montrez coming back? Um, it was actually yesterday I was heard. I was in my class. My, my cousin texted me about it. Yeah? What do you think? I mean, it's good, you know, because that's another uh, key to the puzzle, you know. He'll be able to help us win. Coach Tino said that he, I think on signing yeah. day, he said that you were the most physically ready to go in and play next year. Do you, do you feel like that, that you could step onto a college court, you know, this first game next season and play a lot? Yeah, I feel so. I think I'm ready to play. I think I'm one of the best players to ever, uh, one of the best players in the class. For what reasons? What is it that, that you kind of feel like you can bring and, and contribute to school next year? I feel like I can do everything, you know. As long as I have the right coaching and the right uh, training, I think I can be able to uh, go far. Which time? Now, because that's what I usually do. Like, ever since I was a kid, I, I was on defense because I was the tallest dude. And then offense mostly came in middle school and more high school. That's when my offense started to get better. The art of blocking shot and you do it so well, is it something that you just picked up? Something that, I mean, obviously you work on a lot, but how, where did it come from? Where did the ability to? I mean, I, I picked it up easy, but I just got a few tips from my brothers. Like, just don't leave your feet until the other person leaves their feet or wait till the ball leaves their hands so I can block it and not get fouled.